What's up everyone, welcome to Akuma Studies and today I'm act I have to um I got a little bit of let's see if I can hold it in there like that. I got a little bit of water residue on my um let's see if you can. Yeah, there we go. I got water in my uh, watch case. Uh, but it, you know, that kind of stuff happens. So what I did was I used my knife, popped out the um the case back. It's not moist at all, that's good. And this little plastic. So what I'm gonna do, well, for, well the reason, main reason why I wanted to show this video was just to, to take a look at this movement. <clears throat> if you guys have looked at a lot of pictures of, um, of Timex, old Timex movements, they, they usually are pretty ugly. And I think this one, on the other hand, kind of defies that, um, That stereotype. So, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is clean it, speed, just make it maybe speedy or something. But yeah, I just gotta take that water out. So, let's get started. Alright, there we go. Spick and span. Yeah, and, and while we're at it, I'll show you what I did. So I got the Timex. Uh, just because I felt like I was wearing my Seikos too much, so I, I wore the Mecha Quartz. Well, I guess that's an, also a Seiko, but I wore the Mecha Quartz and I wore the uh, this today. But as you can see, I got my Casio uh, band for my... Um, What's it called? The Casio A168W. Threw it on here. It's crazy. Today at work, I was chilling with some interns, and one of them was talking smack on mechanical wristwatches. Just absolutely blew my mind. So could you just get a smartwatch? I was like, uh, nah. So here we go. That's how I've been rocking it at work. These uh, vintage Timexes are actually pretty sweet. They, I mean, look how thin that is. It's it slides into the cuff so well, it's just, I mean, I, I've been wearing a lot of really, really, really tight, uh, I don't want to say tight as in like, you know, like a tight shirt, like, you know, long sleeve shirts that have kind of tighter, uh, you know, wrist buttons or whatever, but this is so clean because it just slides right over. I'm very, very pleased with this Timex, and I love the way it looks on a, um, let's see if I can't get a, as you can see, it's, it looks, I mean, it looks great on this. I think it looks a million dollars. I mean, it might not look that good now, but it's, I was wearing like a yellow um, polo, and it just, this color matched it so well. So, uh, I'm loving the cream dial on this guy. Really am loving the cream dial. Uh, I mean, what is this? It's, I think it's a 1968 uh, Waterbury. Maybe it's something else, or a Mercury. I'm not exactly for sure, but... Uh, you guys should really check out these vintage Timexes. From what I hear, they're increasing in value over time. So definitely check out the vintage Timexes. And um, don't listen to those idiots who who say uh, whatever, or this, that, about you know smartwatches and the like. Don't listen to them. <laughs> There's nothing that can beat the beauty of this. He was telling me, oh, my watch can check my phone and do all this or whatever whatever but it might be able to do all those cool things but it's not made in Scotland and it's not from 1968 and it doesn't have the years and the age that this watch has lasted over time look I just I mean I'm sure you guys probably know this but I, I'm, I'm younger I'm, I was born in 1998 you know this watch is three times as old as me <laughs> uh, it just and it's still ticking and you guys saw that movement it's absolutely pristine crazy how long these things will work but I'm um, if you get a, a smartwatch what you might have it for five years max maybe six seven years eight years wow you've had a you've had a you've had a, 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 a technology technological device 
by technological device, I mean phone, computer, whatever, whatever. Like, for eight years, that's crazy, you know what I mean? But this, how long you had that? Oh, 60 years. I mean, if, if the guy who bought it was 20 at the time, dude's 80 years old right now. <laughs> what if he was 30? He's 90. If he was 40, he's... This is a 100-year-old watch. Or, sorry, he's, that guy's 100 years old right now. Just, uh... It, just the amount of time that this thing has just kept on taking. Insane. You guys should definitely check him out. And Akuma out.